Hello everyone, I have broken out this set of tools and uh, decided to make something. Um, at the moment I'm just following the patterns they have for me, making a small bit of changes. This is a keychain or a key fob uh, that has not been dyed yet. I have finished all the tooling and so I decided I'd do something a little more complicated for fun. Uh, this surface is new. I went to a local countertop store and uh, they had some off cuts and I bought it for fifteen dollars it's about a foot and a half by two feet long more than enough it's much also much cheaper to do that than to buy it at Tandy. Tandy I think they want about forty bucks for a foot by a foot and uh, this was fifteen dollars much cheaper so the next the next project I'm doing is a checkbook holder it's, it, it's what comes with this this thing and uh, I've already gotten a lot of it ready. Uh, here you can see I took a piece of cardboard and I used the contact cement that came with the kit to glue the leather to the cardboard. The reason you do that is as you're punching uh, that it doesn't stretch. This key thing, as you can notice, it, it ended up stretching. I didn't glue it. So that's why you do that. Uh, it comes with some tracing paper and I've traced the design that they they gave me in the book for it. Um, the next part, I actually used a wet sponge and I wet it and then I just waited for it to get back to the original color. That's when you know that it's good to start tracing. So you use your little stylus tool and uh, you line up your tracing paper and of course you're going to have to try to keep everything in one place the entire time. So once you have your pattern lined up to where you want to, you can start going over all of the places that you ended up drawing a line. Now one thing to note is that the leather, once you wet it, it's much softer. So you do not have to trace extremely hard. If you trace really hard with a stylus, it will actually go straight through and make a hole so you won't be able to use that same tracing again which you want to because it takes quite a bit of time to draw those pencil lines in the first place well there you have it it's the basic outline I'm not too proud of myself but that is a lot of tracing. The good thing is, after you do all your shading, background work, uh, it won't, it'll actually look much better than your original tracing. But of course, if you can try to be as careful as possible, it will look better. Uh, the next, because it took us a while to do the tracing, it's actually not a bad idea to wet, wet the leather again. So I'm going to take my sponge, you don't want to soak the leather, but it's good to have a little bit of water on the sponge. As you can see, it darkens very easily. Probably should have only done the bottom, but if you do everything uniform, it'll dry uniform. Now the leathers that come in this kits aren't necessarily going to be 100% uniform in its own right. Uh, there are going to be blemishes. I think these blemishes I caused when I let contact cement uh, touch the leather. It, it essentially caused it to seal. So there we go. We've got, we wet it again. Now you can see what it looks like. Now it takes quite a few minutes for this to get back to that nice light color we had or at least close to that so we'll get back to that 